A couple of days ago, I received from Scott over at Kukuru's Cottage Super Soil. I'm going to give it a try. This is a hundred grams, and this is supposed to cover an acre. It says it's fertilizer, but what it actually does is convert your soil into fertilizer. It isn't like fish emulsion or something else that you would put on top and it would slowly diminish. This keeps building itself. Over time, you get more and more and more. It turns your dead clay, sand, grit, soil into humus. What I did yesterday was I filled up a bunch of five gallon buckets with water so it could sit overnight and evaporate some of the chlorine out of it. What I'm going to do is put a tablespoon of this in every one of the buckets. And you know how hard it is to get a package open. So once I open it that's got a zipper, I just cut a little finger hole out of it. And oh my goodness, this stuff is black as black can be. Oh, it is so rich. I need three hands. Hi, Frickety Frack. My battery died. This stuff is like dust. It blows real easy. So I'm going to put that much in every one of my buckets. Let it sit for a little while to activate. Oh, oh my goodness, look at that. And that was just one tablespoon in a five gallon bucket. And what you're supposed to do is feed the soil. So I'm going to go Put it on everything. I'm cutting it back to a half a tablespoon. Because this stuff goes forever, apparently. Well, that one package is supposed to cover a full acre. So, you water the ground, or you feed the ground, you don't feed the plant. It's not a full year feeder, but it doesn't say not to get it on the leaves. So let's fill up the other four buckets over here in another garden and start feeding away. It has been in the high 90s the last few days, so it's supposed to be in the mid 80s today. I figured I'd wait until today because if it's too hot, I'm sure it doesn't work well. And if the soil dries out, yeah. So let's just see how this is going to work. They say you can apply it from a huge sprayer on the back of a truck all the way down to a watering can. Okay, I got all my containers watered, fed, and so now I'm going to do the ground. can't overdo it. It can't be too strong. So, oh look, Popolo's seeding up. Look. And I'm going to be adding it to my compost piles. Don't see how that can hurt. Well, there is no smell and it's supposed to keep growing once it's been activated, I guess you'd call it. So I figure 
I just cover the yard and as it grows it will cover the rest of the yard that I didn't get and that's my blueberry I'm figuring that it will spread according to the video oops didn't mean to get you so I figure I'll just dump it out I did four five gallon buckets and I haven't used hardly any of it out of the package and I haven't finished the buckets so the one good part is it doesn't have any scent aroma stink whatsoever hey hello Avis what you doing huh hello Avis and that's Ellen over there these are huge chickens I'm used to little chickens and they're still babies Ooh, you're going to taste that? I don't think you're going to like it. That's the fun part about chickens. They go around tasting everything. If they don't like it, they leave it alone until they decide to taste it again. And that's why I have some plants, but not others. Oh, you keep chasing everybody away. They don't like you. Now, it doesn't say not to put it on the plants. But it doesn't say to put it on the plants. So, good luck. I hope you get a taste. I just watered, fed. Hello, Flutterby. Flutterby, Flutterby. Pretty much all of this with the super soil and water. Not a whole lot. I cut it back immensely. And I dumped some around here. You can see the wet spots. It's supposed to spread naturally, so we'll see. And I put some over there by where the old tree was. Because that never grows anything to speak of. So we'll see what happens. If this is a miracle cure for dead soil. And September 23rd, I don't even think I used half the bag. I got my whole backyard, including the ground, 